Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Dinner prep for tonight. Mama Lisa's in the kitchen. Um, I'm gonna show y'all a recipe that has been in my family for years. It's um, lasagna. And um, I made the sauce earlier today, but I'll walk you through that. This is kind of one of those recipes that it's nice to be home all day on a cloudy, rainy day to make it because uh, you can do it in phases. And honestly, I was thinking, trying to think ahead for uh, an upcoming knee surgery of something that I could make two recipes of and put it in my freezer. So I wanna show y'all that. Um, my cousin Robin shared this recipe in um, my second cookbook, Granny's Farm to Table. Um, it came from her mother, Margaret, who has gone on to be with the Lord. And so it's a very special recipe to our family. Um, in the sauce, what I did earlier today was I put all that together. I put two pounds of ground beef, um, garlic, uh, two whole onions, minced all that and cooked that down in um, my stock pot. And then I added um, tomato, uh, tomato sauce, um, can of tomatoes and all the seasoning as well. And I'll go over that with you in just a minute. But anyway, it is in the Granny's Farm to Table cookbook. So I'm gonna put this together and hopefully the other one will be coming out of the oven so y'all can see what the actual finished product looks like all in one video, okay? So I'm gonna put one layer of sauce down first and I actually dumped a uh, grated zucchini in here because my family, they're not big green eaters. That's a good way to kind of disguise it. I just put it in the sauce, so we'll see if they notice. Okay, let me get my noodles. Um, I have boiled in salt water. Hang on. It's hard to show everything. Um, I have boiled in salt water eight to 10 lasagna noodles. You're gonna need that if you're gonna use this size pan. And I'm using an aluminum pan, so I'm gonna freeze one and we're gonna eat on one as well. Anyway, so I put that in here, the sauce first. I'm gonna come back with one layer of the noodles. I can pick them up and not burn myself. Well, they're slick little suckers. Let's lay them out like so. And usually I do four on the bottom. And I boiled those just to al dente. Like, they're, it's going to bake again in the oven. So I don't like them to be mushy in the water first, like pre cooked. Um, I like them to be, have a little bit of uh, consistency to them, a little texture because they're gonna bake for 30 minutes in the oven anyway, okay? Which will soften them up as well, just from the juices of the sauce. Um, lasagna is very wide uh, spread kind of uh, dish and people do it very differently. And they also do a lot of different variations with lasagna. But this particular recipe is one in my family that if we're gonna have something special or the whole family home, this is what we kind of, you know, gravitate to. Feeds a lot of people is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna put that down first. I'm gonna put just a layer of cottage cheese. You can use ricotta instead of uh, cottage cheese, but for this recipe, we use and like cottage cheese in ours. This recipe also freezes beautifully. So if you're one of those working parents that cook on the weekend, you know, you could make your sauce and freeze it and then pull it out and put it all together. Or you can do like I'm doing, which I'm putting one together, baking it, put it in the freezer, then I'm gonna pull it back out and warm it up in the oven. So totally up to you. Okay, to that, I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese. And I think the recipe calls for two cups of mozzarella cheese. I always put a little more than that if I have it. And I actually Instacarted this week, so I got this huge bag, which is great. And then I'm gonna put also in this bowl, because I didn't have room in the other one, is my Parmesan cheese. 
So you can kind of make that your own as far as what cheese you like to use. Okay, now I'm gonna add another layer of noodles, the lasagna noodles. Now they've cooled off enough for me to handle. So if you love this recipe and are tuning in and you wanna write it down, grab yourself a pen and paper because at the end of this demo, I will go back over that. Ooh, and then you can, oh, that one was hot. Then you can uh, rewind the video as needed. Okay, now we're gonna start all over. Let's do some sauce. And this sauce um, has diced tomatoes. Um, that's up to you. You know, you can use the bigger stewed tomatoes. Or my family would have a meltdown if they had big tomatoes. I'm just saying, that's just my people. So I try to do the diced tomatoes and then a tomato sauce. Okay, now let's do another layer of cottage cheese. And you know, if you have a garden this time of year and you have zucchini and squash coming in and you wanna sneak that in on your little ones, this is a good recipe to disguise it. There we go. Okay, let me come back with some more cheese. You could do a layer of pepperoni if you wanted to as well. to that and then I'm gonna use the rest of this as well growing up this was kind of a special dish if, if we saw mama making my mama making lasagna we knew we were having company or something and now that I'm grown and have my own kids this is the very recipe that my kids asked for for my mother to cook I'm gonna just top this off with some more sauce the first one that's gonna be coming out of the oven, I finished with the cheese on top. But that really doesn't matter as far as the taste goes. With this lasagna though, you do wanna bake it on 350 for about 30 minutes till all the cheese is melted and everything's married up. And um, you wanna let it sit just a few minutes when you get out of the oven before you cut it. So it'll kinda of stay together for you to keep its integrity. So y'all will get to see the one coming out of the oven that has cheese on top. I don't wanna waste any of this, that's for sure. Okay, now let me show you the one that's ready to come out of the oven. Grab some hot holder thingies. Let's see here. There you have it, 30 minutes on 350. My cousin Robin's lasagna, it's what's for dinner. We'll put the other one in the oven and freeze one. I hope y'all enjoy that. And I hope it's something that you'll wanna make at some point. See y'all.